Greetings once again, Shinobi. Dudes this then back again with Boruto Naruto Next Generation. Previously, Kawaki has decreed all Motsutsuki must die. And unfortunately, that includes Boruto. And knowing that Naruto will not stand for the second death of his son, Kawaki has sealed both Naruto and Hinata in an alternate dimension for safekeeping so that they do not interfere. And naturally, kidnapping the Hokage gets Kawaki's ass hunted. Shikamaru organizes a posse to ground him up. But during the kerfluffle, Boruto is injured, slashed in his eye. But Momoshiki allows Kawaki to escape. And when Ada comes to Kawaki's aid, her true power is ultimately revealed. The power to rewrite reality itself! And Ada, desperately wanting to help Kawaki, makes his wish come true. That Boruto be just a nobody who no one would miss in the end. And so, essentially... Ada has caused the perception of Kawaki and Boruto to flip. Now in the minds of several, well, not several, pretty much everyone, Boruto was the outsider who came into the village and snatched away the Hokage, while Kawaki is the Hokage's son who has been there the entire time. And Kawaki, capitalizing upon this, has it reported that the Hokage was killed by Boruto, making it so that there won't be an attempt to capture Boruto, it'll be all about killing him. Strangely enough, the only people unaffected outside of Kawaki and Ada who made the transition are Sarada and more than likely Sumire, as for some reason, Ada's omnipotence ability doesn't work on them. Why is that? And, despite having probably those two on his side, that's two people in an entire village out to hunt him down. How will Boruto get his way out of this sticky situation? Join me as I find out, won't you? Alright, Boruto, Naruto Next Generation. Again, Ikimoto's weird fascination with legs on full display is Boruto number 80, What Dad Would Do. <laughs> I guess that's what... Boruto is trying to figure out, okay, so I'm guessing, I'm forgetting how, what the scene was, but I think Shigemaru was chasing after Boruto, and he received word from Ada about what happened to the Hokage. Shigemaru is in shock and questions Ada, are you sure? Ada? Ada, who's been grabbed by Kawaki by the scruff of her shirt, exchanges glances with him, and then she solemnly says, Yes, I'm sure. The Hokage was killed by Boruto. Shikamaru simply says it can't be. Kawaki then releases Ada's shirt and simply says good. Oh god. Meanwhile, Sarada, who's trying to calm down an enraged Mitsuki for what happened to Boruto, <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna be really hard to explain a lot of this, but Mitsuki's in sage mode, ready to just go out for blood, while Sarada is trying to calm him down, saying, Mitsuki, please, hear me out. Mitsuki, pretty much ignoring her says we'll talk later i need to go after him let me go sarada sarada continues to try to call out for mitsuki but suddenly a telepathic message that i assume just goes out to everyone comes across from shikamaru saying alert all search party shinobi regarding lord seven who has been missing there's a strong possibility that he's already deceased at Boruto's hands. Sumire, back at the house hearing this, is in shock saying no way. She then looks back up towards the sky and thinks, That flash earlier, something's happened, something huge. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Sarada in shock drops to her knees saying, Lord Seven's dead? And tears start to well up in her eyes as she says, I don't understand, what's going on? Mitsuki simply says, go rejoin the others, I'll kill him. And he goes racing on. Off, saying you will pay Boruto and as Boruto continues to run through the forest trying to escape Kawaki tells Ada now he's now a Hokage killing Otsutsuki and Kanoha's number one enemy he's no longer welcome here Ada of all people questions did he really have to take it this far Kawaki simply says at the very least no one will interfere with me killing Boruto anymore oh and we see Naruto and Hinata who, they look like they're basically in stasis in that other world where Kawaki gets the cubes and the rods from. So those things are really just floating in some weird space, 
waiting to be used. That's so bizarre. Kawaki tells Ada, Lord Seventh is safe so long as he stays sealed away. I won't release him until after I've dealt with Boruto and Code. For all intents and purposes, to Konoha, the Hokage is dead, and it's Boruto's fault. It's interesting. Ada, Ada feels some kind of way about this, but, you know, she, she's... We've already seen that she feels some kind of way about her powers and abilities. And now with this, it's like, I don't think she even knew about this, so she might have more questions than anything else. But suddenly, Kawaki is tackled by Damon, who says, Hey, I finally found you, Kawaki. You better not be... You better not have messed with my sis. Kawaki simply says, Get off me, you darn brat. Or I'll kill you too. Careful with that, Kawaki. You know what happens when you threaten Damon. Damon says, What? Yeah, right. I dare you to try. Sasuke then happens upon Sarada, still slumped down in the forest, calling out to her. As she responds, wiping away the tears in her eyes, Sasuke kneels down to her, questioning, Are you okay? Where's Mitsuki? Wasn't he with you? Sarada cries out, Dad, Mitsuki's acting strange. He says he's gonna kill Boruto. He's out of control. He isn't himself. Okay, moment of truth. Is Sasuke gonna remember and notice that something's off? Or is he also gonna be after Boruto? Oh, yep. Sasuke says, I can't blame him. In fact, it's perfectly a perfectly normal reaction. Boruto almost killed Kawaki. And then with Naruto and Hinata. Yeah, so. I, I figured it would be the case since he's the second person she met. And this will confirm that something is off. Sarada's confused, saying, Dad? Sasuke tells her, I'll stop Boruto before he leaves Konoha. You go back to the village. Sarada tries to say, What? Well, hold on, Dad. She then thinks, What the heck? Why is even Dad saying such nonsense? What is wrong with everyone? Sumire suddenly communicates with Sarada, saying, Sarada, can you hear me? Answer if it's yes. Sarada says, Class rep? Samaria says, oh phew, I need to ask you something about the current situation. Listen, there's no time, so I'm going to be blunt. Do you think you're of completely sound mind right now? Samiri, I mean, sorry the questions, huh? Oh boy. Oh, this is going to get intense. As Boruto's running through the forest, he looks overhead and sees a drawn bird flying through the sky. He thinks, was that... You know Jin's cartoon beast mimicry? Suddenly a massive hand reaches out for him and smacks him away. Man, you know, I've been saying that I wanted to see them in action, but of all things for this to be it. As Boruto regains his footing as he smacked away, suddenly he's frozen in place by something possessing his shadow. Inujin comes flying in on his drawn bird, while Shikadai says to Boruto, I considered you a friend. We all did, Boruto. But then I hear, you didn't just try to kill your bro, but Lord Seventh of all people too. He took you in. Boruto says, Shikadai. Inojin Chocho. Shikadai says with anger in his eyes, you. That just ain't what a friend does, you hear? Meanwhile, with Sarada, she questions Samira, saying, Am I of sound mind? I'm not sure. Things have been so weird since a bit earlier. Samira says, Calm down, Sarada. You should be fine. Actually, you and me both. Sarada questions this, but Sasuke speaks up saying, Are you okay, Sarada? You're pale. Are you injured? Sarada doesn't respond to her dad as she mentally communicates with Sumire saying, Do you know something, class rep? Sumire, still racing through the forest, says, I don't have it all figured out yet, but given the facts, I'd say that Ada is somehow invo is involved somehow. Sarada thinks Ada? And she questions, What do you mean? How could Ada be related to this? Sumire tells her, Similar to the phenomenon where all who see her become her captive, I believe something's happened to everyone. It's the only possibility, especially if you and I aren't affected. Man, Subiri put that together real fast. Come on, Sarada, keep up. Then again, she's in shock. She's thinking the person she really looked up to is dead. Sarada then meets her father's eyes, who, you know, is obviously confused by her behavior. Sarada continues not to respond to her dad, which is gonna start looking suspicious. Sarada communicates with Samiri, saying, Just earlier, everyone was chasing Kawaki, and then all of a sudden, they're now trying to find and kill Boruto instead. Samiri says, That would never happen under normal circumstances. It's clear some un- Wait, non-natural power is at work. I would have put unnatural power, but whatever. Something powerful like a Shinjutsu. Helps that you just learned about that not too long ago. Aiden must have done something to save Kawaki from his predicament. That's the only thing I can think of. Sarada then says out loud, but this is too cruel. Why can't Boruto ever get a break? Sumeria says, either way, 
You and I may be the only ones who can help Boruto right now, and yet I'm not sure what we can do. Sasuke continues to try to talk to Sarada, saying, Sarada, talk to me. What happened? Oh, man. Of all times for him to be a doting father, Sarada looks to her father with tears in her eyes, saying, Dad, Boruto isn't guilty. He would never kill Lord Severinth. Everyone's being duped. Sasuke says, Boruto may be an outsider, but I've never had any weird prejudices about him. But the reality is, I can't ignore the fact that he tried to kill Kawaki. Sarada says, he didn't. You've got it wrong, Dad. Meanwhile, with Boruto's standoff against the Inashika Trio trio, Shikadai continues yelling at Boruto, saying, Do you get how we're feeling? That you betrayed us like this? Huh, Boruto? Say something, you monster! <sighs> Oh boy, <laughs> what could he say? And of course, here comes Momoshiki whispering in Boruto's ear saying, What a bind, kill or be killed. Though it's not very shinobi-like to take down former friends, is it? Let's switch, I'll slaughter them for you. Man, what an asshole! What an asshole! Dude is fucking getting off on this. <laughs> Boruto says, shut up, stay out of this. Oh boy. Sasuke holds Sarada, saying, You've done enough, Sarada. Go home and rest. I'm sorry, but I have to go. But Sarada grabs onto his clothes, saying, You don't have to understand what I'm saying, but could you please just listen, Dad, to the first and only selfish favor I'll ever ask, she says with tears in her eyes. Oh, jeez. Wait, she awakened her mom, Geki Oshuring? Oh, I Mm, I don't actually care for the way that looks. It's kind of weird. Huh. 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 Well, shit. <laughs> Freaking Maki Kiyoshiringan. Wait, did she... Was her... Shiring, her Shiringan was complete, wasn't it? Jeez. So the stress of the situation caused it to awaken. That's wild. I don't know how people are going to feel about that. <laughs> yeah, seeing this Sasuke is just like, Maki Kiyoshiringan. <laughs> and Sarada continues crying, saying, Please help Boruto, okay, Dad? Oh boy. Uh, meanwhile, with Boruto, his karma is activated, and obviously without his want, as he says, Ugh, Momoshiki, if you dare hurt my friends, I'll never forgive you. And Momoshiki says, Your friends? I don't see any friends here. In fact, you don't have any at all. Only enemy. Just admit it, you know already, don't you, that everyone wants you dead. There is nowhere you belong. No reason to live. Go to sleep forever. Man! He saw this coming. What the- Oh, man! How does he get out of it? Oh. Suddenly, Boruto is snatched up by Sasuke, much to the surprise of the Inishika Cho. Boruto calls out, Uncle Sasuke? Sasuke says, come, let's get out of the village. <laughs> Inojin can only say, stunned. Why did Master Sasuke grab Boruto? As Boruto and Sasuke are making their way outside of the village borders, Sasuke says, I first met him when I stopped, happened to stop by Naruto's house for a visit. That day, he asked me to take him on as a student. He mastered Rasengan in a flash, and fought Momoshiki with me to save Naruto, and we won. That's who Kawaki is. He's Naruto's son, according to my mind. Uh, so he's explaining it. See, <laughs> man, you got lucky. I was wondering if Sasuke is going to figure it out. I was wondering if maybe he would be unaffected too, because, you know, that would be a great ally to have. But I was less like, oh god, he doesn't know. Man, with Sasuke hunting down Boruto, I don't know if he'll survive. He'd only get out if Sasuke is helping him. And here we have it. Mm. He didn't pick up with Ada observing something and as Kawaki is making his way back with the leaf shinobi Ada calls out Kawaki head back without me I need to do something first and then she floats off and flies off with Damon with Kawaki not really saying much of anything we then pick up with Boruta and Sasuke taking a rest uh, somewhere outside the leaf village borders Sasuke says we should be safe here for now the sentry unit won't find us, though we won't deceive Ada for long, so we'll rest a bit and then go. Sasuke, I mean, Boruto questions, Uncle Sasuke, you think I'm Konoha's enemy, don't you? Why are you helping me? Sasuke state that headband is the one I gave to Kawaki, and you have it for some reason. <laughs> Boruto holds it up saying, and that's not all. Or was it supposed to be Sasuke who's saying, and that's not all? 
The speech bubble is coming out of Boruto, though. Weird. Sasuke says, I know you're there, Otsuski Momoshiki. You should be inside Kawaki. So why are you here? Yeah. See, that's the other tip off. Because of his ability, we've seen that he's able to see Momoshiki, even just a faint glimpse. So Sasuke's putting it together. I wonder if he could maybe convince Shikamaru. <sighs> Shigemaru might be harder to convince. Sasuke then goes on to say, Several things are troubling me, but at the same time, I can actively feel in my mind each thing drastically bothering me less and less. It's quite terrifying. I never gave it thought until now how completely undependable my own memories might be. I don't know what to believe anymore. And so I decided that even if I doubt myself, I'd believe in my daughter Sarada. Oh, that's actually really beautiful. Boruto calls out to Sasuke, and Sasuke says, I shall help you, because my daughter wishes it. That is worth risking my life. Hell yeah. Man, Sasuke, hell yeah. That, that, that actually makes me really happy for some reason. <laughs> Momoshiki then thinks, is he in his right mind? He's going to help Boruto for his daughter, even though he perceives Boruto to be an enemy. <laughs> it's like, Dolph. Oh man, oh man, he meets <laughs> Momoshiki is pissed. Momoshiki is so pissed. It's just like, God, damn, oh, it was almost there. It was almost there. Uh, you didn't see this one, did you, you asshole? Sasuke then says, I may be in the process of committing a monumental mistake, so prove me wrong and validate Sarada. <laughs> Momoshiki then whispers in Boruto's ear, Don't let it go to your head, Boruto. This one man's help. Won't change the fact that you've lost so much. Omnipotence happened. That's the unmistakable reality. It's totally different from momentary deceptions like Genjutsu. As in Ada was simply the trigger. Even if you were to kill her now, it would not reverse the change that changes that have already taken place. That is, uh, a bit troubling. Like, how do you reverse that? And knowing what we see in the future, if it doesn't get change. Ah oh, man, Boruto living years with this. Poor bastard. <laughs> Boruto simply says, you're being, you're being awfully chatty, Otsutsuki. What's got you so panicked? And Mitsuki, I mean, I keep calling him Mitsuki, Momoshiki, just loses his mind saying, I'm saying that your role here is finished. So stop being a sore loser, you imp. Hurry up and hand over your body already. And Boruto claps back saying, you have balls to talk about being a sore loser. Give me a break. You're the one who needs to stay backstage. How about you act like the dead piece of crap you are and stay silent for once. <laughs> and Momoshiki thinks to himself, the damn brat, what crazy mental resolve he has. <laughs> he honestly, might have got him if Sasuke didn't step into the picture. Like, knowing Sasuke's got Boruto's back, even just one person, like, bam, fortitude. And who should arrive right behind Boruto? Ada and Damon. With Ada saying, I know that apologies won't cut it, but I'm still sorry, Boruto. <laughs> Sasuke thinks, so this is Ada and Damon. So is he being affected by Ada too? Hmm. Ada questions, do you already know what happened to you? Boruto simply says, Kawaki and I switched places, is what I was told. Ada says, I only wanted to help Kawaki. That's all I swear, but it seems I did something unintentionally. I never imagined it turn out like this. Something similar happened before. By the time I realized it, everyone had become my captive. Oh. So she altered things to where everyone would want to admire her? Be infatuated with her? Huh. Gee. Boruto then says, you unconsciously desired that and your true power omnipotence made it reality. <laughs> Ada says, so that's what it is. What a total drag. <laughs> hey, at least you now have a name for it. Boruto then questions, and this right now, it's reflecting what Kawaki wanted. Ada says, you're so calm about it. I thought you'd be totally depressed. Boruto says, oh, I'm crushed, all right. But even more so, I can't stop thinking about him. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, boy. Boruto says, the insecurity and loneliness that I'm feeling right now? He's lived with this all his life since he was a kid. Damn. Kid, you are your father's son. If that's where your mind is going right now, holy crap. Actually relating to Kawaki despite everything? Man. Look, Naruto 
back in the day had every reason to kill Sasuke. Just take him out and be done with it. But he stuck to his guns. He stuck to his guns. And I'm like, oof, Naruto, you're a better person than me. Because there was a point where I'm just like, Sasuke needs to die. Like, and I am very forgiving in a lot of ways. And even I'm just like, Sasuke needs to die. <laughs> like, Sasuke's gone a little too far for even me. But <sighs> to forgive Kawaki and relate to him in this moment. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Oof. Boruto, you are not that same kid we met at the start of all this. Boruto says, the polar opposite of me. I thought I knew him pretty well, but I guess it was pissing him off that even though I never knew hardship, I was acting like I understood. Ada then says, maybe, but I think he does acknowledge you as a true brother. That's how it seems to me. <sighs> Oof. You know, <laughs> it's funny too, because it took Ada massively screwing Boruto over to just be, like, really nice to him, <laughs> all things considered. Sasuke then speaks up, saying, Naruto, he also had nothing, just like the current you, and he was shunned by many people, but he became Hokage by proving himself through his own actions. If you are truly his son, as you say, then show us just as he did. <laughs> That's a hell of a task you just dropped in the kid's lap, but, I mean, he... <laughs> Is either take that or death. And Momoshiki over to the side is thinking to himself, Damn, Shinobi! Yapping on unnecessarily and interfering with the perfect opportunity for me to make him despair and lose his will to live. This is bad. This line of talk is extremely bad. It wasn't supposed to go like... <laughs> But then Boruto speaks up, saying, You should know that I never for a second considered this as losing everything, Momoshiki. I've got flowing inside me the blood of my dad, 7th Hokage, Uzumaki Naruto. My mom's Hyuga blood too, and my granddad was the 4th Hokage. He then ties his headband over his head, tightening it, saying, And most important, I am a Konoha, will a fire ninja. Damn, Boruto. Shit. My respect for this kid just went through the roof. <laughs> like, I, I'ma be real. Boruto was starting to feel like a secondary character in his own series, but, shoot. He has never felt more like his dad than in this moment. Even Momoshiki seemed shook by this. Boruto then goes on to say, in fact, the one who drove Kawaki into a this corner was well, none other than me. He's got his own sense of justice. He tried to resolve the Momoshiki situation, even with the risk of dad hating him, resulting in him killing his brother. It's all due to my weakness. I can finally see that now. Boruto then takes a stand, saying, I can't let this end as brother killing brother. I gotta get a lot stronger and turn this into a mere quarrel between siblings. Shoot. Ugh. That's what my dad would do. And the visage of Naruto appears besides him yeah no that's exactly what your dad would do like yep yep no no that's exactly what naruto is good would do it's just like he's inherited the will of the Takno jutsu <laughs> oh man yeah, it took the kid a long time to finally fully understand his dad too ada then says boruto are you sure you're only 12. Boruto says, what, that again? Who cares? Ada then says, well, unintended or not, I also played a part in bringing about this situation. So it, not, it may not make full amends, but until you return to Konoha, I promise not to look for, e for either of you, no matter what Shikadi or Kawaki say. Wow. Damn, Ada. <laughs> she, like, damn, she really feels bad about this. Just like, I don't jive with this. Boruto then co questions Ada. And Ada simply says, because Kawaki just, Kawaki's just coming off as a coward right now. And it's my fault. It totally makes me sick. That's all. <laughs> it's just like, you should have manned up and just dealt with his decision. That is true. That is true. This is kind of Kawaki taking the easy way out to a bad situation. Like, she didn't mean for this to happen. But the way Kawaki is capitalizing on it, mm, I don't know, I feel some kind of way about Kawaki right now. But knowing Boruto, if Boruto is truly Naruto's son, he'll find a way to make this work. I, we, we got to a point where I didn't think the whole Naruto and Sasuke thing would work out. But here we are. So, I'll see how it goes. <laughs> and, Naruto, and Boruto just smiles saying, I'll take it. 
I know that's right. Boruto then says, Please let Sarada know my thanks for sending me Uncle Sasuke. And not to worry, because I'm definitely going to come back. <laughs> Ada says, I'm not an errand girl, you know. But fine. Damon, who <laughs> was falling asleep halfway through this whole conversation, perks up and says, Hey, Boruto, get ton stronger while you're at it. Not that I'll have to fight at full strength for the first time in my life. <laughs> Boruto simply says, I don't think I've got enough lives for that. Sasuke then gets up saying, let's get going. For even without the centering gone, I doubt Kanoa will stop pursuing us. Boruto says, yeah, thanks so much, Sasuke. And Sasuke says, it's not because I believe you, but for my daughter. Like, Sasuke, dude! Between what Ada has come in and said, and the entire discussion you've heard, and even some of your own statements about sensing Momoshiki and stuff, like, I'd, I'd be inclined to believe something really sus has gone on. And we pick up with Sumire and Sarada, with Sarada thinking, Boruto, Dad, please be safe. Are we entering a time skip? We then cut to Code. I honestly thought, <laughs> I mean, he must be taking his time producing all those ten tail miniature whatevers. As Code says, Jigen, Ishiki, and Ada, for your crimes of stealing all that I hold dear, you shall pay with your life. Borut, God damn it, I didn't even think about that. It even affected Code. So all of his wrath has been redirected to Boruto. Oh my god. Dude, Boruto, you ended up with the deck stacked against you, bud. Holy crap. <laughs> wow, even that, even that. Holy crap. We then cut to Kawaki, standing under the Hokage monument, looking to Naruto's visage, as he says, it's no use hiding anywhere. I'll kill you as long as you are Otsutsuki. Bro. And then we cut to Boruto saying, Bring it on. I'll show you till you're begging me to stop. That I'm Uzumaki Boruto, damn it. Boruto will be going on break and its plan return to its plan return in September. Jeez. Jeez. Holy crap. So May, June, July, August. Se holy crap. That is a while to wait. It's gotta be a time skip. Jeez. Man, just as things were really ramping up too man all right so if this is really the time skip that i've heard a few people say was coming man man i knew sasuke was kind of naruto's jiraiya i mean boruto's jiraiya but dang so how long is it gonna be because boruto looked about 15 i want to say during that like flash four we had at the beginning of the series so i don't know maybe three years will pass <sighs> but i have to also wonder what is sarada and sumire gonna do as the only people you know outside of ada and damon in the village who know what happened like dude and what about himawari <sighs> Gee, man, this is kind of a bummer in its own special kind of way, because, man, I feel really bad for Boruto right now. Holy crap. That is so effed. I mean, like, I'm thinking about myself in that situation. I'd be like, yeah, nah, bruh. <laughs> nah, bruh. Ah, oh, man. And that was code on his ass, too, because of omnipotence? Like, jeebus. <sighs> I wonder what the Leaf Village is going to look like after all this. And if there is a time skip, will they end up naming, like, maybe Shikamaru will become the next Hokage because of this? Dang. It sucks, too, because, to a certain extent, this is kind of Naruto's kindness, kind of just being really something that just blew up in his face. Ah, oh, that is such a special kind of bummer. I'm still just kind of in shock. Just in shock at Boruto really taking this on the chin. <sighs> and if... I've heard that even the anime has gone on a bit of hiatus, so I guess they're just gonna try to rebrand everything and rework everything. <sighs> Very curious. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel that so much has just been piled on Boruto? And the fact that he's you know, 
basically taking it in stride. And has he fully now overcome Momoshiki or will Momoshiki come out again? How much time do you think will pass? Who do you think will take over the Leaf Village? I have to assume Shikamaru. Or what about Sarada and Sumire as the only people who remember? And what about Mitsuki? Is he still trying to hunt them down? I feel like Boruto would be able to like get them to back down by just putting out some information that only someone who knows his friends would you know be able to put out there i don't know let me know your thoughts in the comment section below also to subscribe for more boruto when it returns but until then i've been dudes this then and i hope to see you later take care Bye bye